We now know how long it took Michael Elliott to break out of an Ionia prison and why someone should have seen him doing it. Elliott is still in jail in Indiana, and 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks was there when he appeared in an Indiana courtroom a little over 24 hours ago. Now Leon is live in Ionia, where that prison break happened with these key new details. Leon? That's right. Right now, Michael Elliott is still in Indiana, still fighting extradition, and they are waiting for the governors to work out a warrant so that would force him to come back here. But now we're getting a look at some testimony from a Michigan State police officer that was that was uh, t testified to here in Ionia at the district court that really adds more questions to this case. It's sworn testimony from a Michigan State Police Trooper requesting a warrant for escaped killer Michael Elliott. We hoped it would provide answers, but it raised more questions. The documents lay out a timeline of the break. At 6 o'clock, Elliott starts his escape, but it wasn't until 6.53 that he actually got out, going underneath the fence in the Sallyport area. Investigators know this because it was all caught on video. Typically in major jails or prisons, cameras are monitored live. It's not clear if they were being monitored or by whom in this case. An hour later, at around 9 o'clock after night fell, Elliot was here. This is where police say he abducted and carjacked a woman headed to her car, driving her to Indiana before she was able to get away. Prosecutors say Elliot asked the woman if she had a gun, a knife, a taser, or a cell phone. She said she did not, which was mostly true, but she did have a phone in her pocket that she later used to call 911. Now, while the charges for the escape, the abduction, the carjacking, those have been filed here in Ionia, it is not clear whether or not those will actually go through and whether or not they will actually go for a conviction on those charges. The prosecutor today said a lot of that will depend on how far the victim, the carjacking victim, that is, wants to take the case. Reporting live, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.